I'd like to just give some thanks to my dad, the Most High God, for bringing us here for this message today. These messages, I got quite a few downloads I'll be uploading for you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dad, for bringing me here and giving me the breath of life, giving me another day to walk this earth. To be great with the collective. Let me turn it this way. Yeah, I got to shave again, y'all. Y'all know how I do. All right. Giving you a little bum sheet today. All right, so let's get it. What's up? It's 1001. That's significant. Let's look up that angel number. Angel number 1001. 1001. Love and compassion and bringing blessings in disguise. Wow, seeing the angel number is here to remind you to uplift your heart in joy. Yes, 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 yes. We understand that. Thank you very much. It's fucking wicked. All right. I don't know. I, I used to do it a lot better than that. But so we are approaching the full moon. I believe. What? I thought it was on the 10th. I was wrong. I stand corrected. It's the worm moon on the 25th. So we not even going, we not even going to worry about it right now, but they did not stop people from doing the moon, but oh, it's the new moon, the next new moon. Ha, there we go. The 10th. I knew I was right. Yeah. So, well, yeah. So we're back to this shit again. Huh? <clears throat> well, you know what I got when I was in the kitchen, by the way, though, you know, um, 55 on the clock, expect powerful changes. Also, five represents conflict, too. So there may be some um, uh, there may be uh, some type of changes due to some type of conflict. I just heard. Yikes. We just stay prayed up. Just just up your protection, whatever you do. Uh, but prayer is the most effective uh, thing, in my opinion. Yeah. Sorry about the glare. I would have this window open, but I don't you know, I pay attention to shit. I don't like people looking at me like that, you know, spying and shit. It just kind of gives people a little bit of, and it's a, it's a fucking intrusion. It's a fucking intrusion. You feel me? Jeez. Can the guy get a little privacy? You can't even walk around the house in my underwear without motherfuckers looking. Jeez. All right, so, uh, what was I going to say? Anyway, um, I got a download about... Uh, <laughs> Switching out Hitmen. The Hitmen musical chairs is what I heard. So there's a there's an energy of uh, Hitmen, a Hitman or Hitwoman or assassins being switched out. Rotation I just heard. Uncall Hitmen. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. I do. Well, it wouldn't make sense that they're trying to rotate out Hitman. It's the it's okay. So let's just okay. So first things first. I, I almost remembered what I was going to explain, and it was very important to it to come back to me though. But um, for those of y'all that um, that are that watch a lot of readings, or maybe you're new to this, when when uh. Well, I'm not going to say we because I'm not going to speak for everybody. But when I say things like spell work, I mean, people do get together um, to do. There are people that are gifted uh, to do magic, to do spell work, to send curse, to send magic your way. Whether they're sending monitoring spirits, whether they're sending energy, whether they're sending, uh, you know, dark energy, dark matter energy or whatever the fuck it is. I don't I don't participate in it. But that's that is considered that is spell work now. Spell work also includes people sitting around um, plotting and planning to unalive people. Mm -hmm. That's spell work. Um, and it's also because, you know, a lot of things, well, because you have to understand everything happens in spirit. So when you're talking to spiritual people, spiritual people talk of things in spirit. That's just how it works. But today we're going to say spell work, confirmation. You got people sitting around doing spell work. So. When people say spell work, a lot of times what they're saying is that people are plotting and planning uh, strategically um, from a very low vibrational spiritual place. So there's hitmen being switched out. We're going to see what's going on with this bullshit. 
Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads uploads. You feel me? I do now. I now remember what I was gonna say. So, um, the number fifteen could be significant. The number 15 could be very significant. I just noticed that the time frame between the new moon and the full moon is usually 15 days, 14 or 15, but there's more 15 days. So 15, the number 15 could be very significant. The number, uh, the, the, January 5th could be significant. May 1st could be significant. Okay, what's 15 in the tarot deck? I don't know, we'll figure it out though. But overall, yeah. But no, what I was gonna say is about uh, I keep noticing the number five, 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 five on the clock. So there's about to be some, there's about to be some conflict. Then there's about to be some change. Okay. Something unexpected. So these people could un unexpectedly be trying to bring you conflict for change. That's why I keep noticing the number five, five. So there's definitely something in the works today. They're planning. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen today because the new moon is on, is two days from now. So that would be Sunday. So maybe you should maybe, I don't know. Expect the unexpected sometime between today and Sunday or Sunday and Tuesday because, you know, there's that three day to two day, to whatever, however many day period, three day window or whatever. But for breakfast, so, you know, I usually eat bacon, eggs, you know, you know, just like kind of like a uh, all American kind of breakfast. But um, I, I switched up to chicken sausage. I don't feel as heavy. There's something to that a little information but somebody from your past refuses to let go of something we got the four of coins to the six of cups and this is a very karmic uh past this could also mean that um you're being held back by generational curses with the four of coins to the six of cups in the reverse toxic generational curses you're being held back by something so, something from your past either doesn't want to let you go or you're or, or you're or you're being held back from your past there's a difference so because um, I just heard somebody go well, that's the same thing it's not the same thing genius so if you're being held back from the if you're if you're being held back from your toxic past what that means is that there's some work that you have to do to release yourself because if you're being held back that by your past that is you still holding on to the past or something's not there's some type of shadow work that needs to be done. There's some type of healing that needs to be done. There's some answers that maybe you need to, to, to seek and find. But if you have somebody from your past holding you back, your toxic past, that is somebody trying to restrain you, to hold you back, whether that be physically, energetically, spiritually, financially, um, through, through, through manipulation. So there goes the explanation for that. You feel me? Um, but let's see. What's holding... We're using the Adventure Time Tarot deck. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another download. I'll come back because I'm not going to keep... You know, I'm, I'm going to go back to some shorter videos. It's better for circulation. So, okay, so let's see. What's holding you back? What's or what's holding you back or who's trying to hold you back? One more shuffle here and then I'll do a quick cut. I'm loving it. There's a lot going on. Like there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes. 
people are uh, rushing or frantic to figure something out, to try to get something done. I can, I'm just picking up on the energy because I'm like all over the place, but I'm really not moving. I'm sitting right here and I'm just like, people are trying to figure out the best, the best way to, uh, the, the best option for a hit. This people, are, these people are trying to figure out the best way to, to put out this hit, to send out this hit. Uh, they, this is kind of like their last opportunity is what I just heard to get it, to get it, to get it right. You could be feeling, um, you could be feeling kind of uh, sad and you don't know why. Yeah, melancholy. You could be feeling very sad right now and you don't understand why. It's because you're being energetically drained. Somebody's pulling at you. So you might want to do a cord cutting. Okay. We got letter in the reverse in room. Room and letter in the reverse. <laughs> Clarify these two for me. Thank you. Sorrow. These people are trying to, they're, okay, so what they're holding back from you, your past. They're trying to prevent, they're trying to prevent you getting some type of communication. These people are in a room talking about this shit. I'm picking up on the fact that this is an, uh, let's see. And I told you musical chairs for, like, they're sitting, it's like they're interviewing, damn. It's like they're, they're, they're sitting there talking to somebody sitting in that chair about what they're going to do, like why they need to do this, like why they need to do, which is a mistake. I don't understand why people would do that. I mean, service. I can't make it up. Gift because gift in the reverse. Listen, these people have the service, a gift. They gave some, they're, they're giving somebody a gift to do this. Room service gift. Hotel. Somebody's in a hotel. Somebody's in a hotel. Room service gift. Somebody's in a hotel, a hotel room. Somebody's in a hotel room talking to somebody about what they need to get done, why they need to get it done. They're trying to prevent some type of uh, some a message uh, or some type of correspondence, maybe mail. Um, something physical though. This is something physical that's going to make you very happy. That may take you out of this melancholy mood. You may be feeling kind of stuck, stagnant, just kind of uh, at a crossroads, but not really at a cross. You're just feeling stuck. You're feeling blah. You don't know what to do about it because you don't understand why. Well, you're being, this is an energetic, this is an energetic tug of war that you're in. People are siphoning, like pulling on your energy, but they're nowhere around you, which is why you're like, I don't understand why I feel drained. I don't understand why I feel sad. It's because you, some, these people from your past, they don't want to let you go. They want to hold on to you. Uh, they want to, they, I just heard they want to keep you. They want to make sure that you are right where they want you to be. So if you're melancholy and you're feeling a little um, sad, you may not feel like leaving the house. You may feel like, you, you know, you don't want to go nowhere. Um, that really could be them trying to get you to stay where they want you is what I just heard. Damn. Damn. Hmm. Always use your own discernment, though. You always ask the Most High God to order your steps as far as this is concerned. Because they could be making you feel like that to, to make you feel like you should get out of the house to go get some fresh air. You feel me? So it's, it's, it's all about manipulation. These people could be making you feel like you're sad. Oh, maybe I should go out and get me a drink. Maybe I should go out and hang out with this person. I'm feeling sad. I don't know why. Maybe I should. Maybe they could be trying to draw you out of the house as well. So you have to apply the roles as they fit. Make sure that it's a it's a it's a it's a role that you should be wearing. You feel me? Don't be don't you know? Get some get some get some uh, clarification. Get you know do your own research or discernment or whatever. But they're talking to somebody in a room about how they and now they, they the idiots have told this person why they want uh, them to do what they want them to do. 
So now when this person gets caught, they're going to tell they're going to tell the, the authorities because the person is going to get caught. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, they're going to tell the, 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 the authorities like this. They, they told me they wanted me, which for, oh, this is what I'm saying. These people are fucking idiots. OK, let's get another card out here. They're trying they're trying to get you to reunite with somebody. I'm trying to see listen, they're trying they're they're trying to put you in bad and we got malady reunion, malady doctor, and then we got money and joyfulness. Okay. Uh what I'm picking up from this, the reunion and malady and doctor is that they're they're trying to get you connected with somebody that's gonna put your ass in the hospital or make you sick. There's a number of different ways these people have been okay, so I see what we're doing now. I just heard that this was another plan, okay? They wanted you to get with somebody, have a reunion, and your ass is going to go to the doctor, and you're going to end up sick. And these motherfuckers are going to be happy. They get your money. This is probably what they're trying to hold on to, trying to prevent you from getting this gift. Yeah. They're sitting there telling this person right now, we need you to do this because we don't want this person to receive this money. We don't want you to do it. And, and they're hoping that this reunion with this, this this person, this is what they tried to do anyways. This is just some this is just a, a, a confirmation of sorts, I think. But look, reunion, doctor, and then your ass is in the bed sick and then they go with your money happy. You, you bump into a hitman, reunion with the, meet the hitman because you're lonely and shit. Okay. Did they do something to you and put your ass and you sick you end up you end up in a look see these motherfuckers is ring around the rosy ring around the rosy there goes that chair again musical chairs with the hitman you see that money sitting on the table right there these motherfuckers is having them a jolly good time because you they want you to be in bad health <sighs> give me some more energy for this uh <laughs> Hitman musical chairs. Don't spirit is saying don't even just stay where you are. Just stay where you are. If you need some fresh air, open up a window. Cause you're gonna come together with it. Okay, yeah. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. You're gonna come together. You're gonna. They also damn. They also uh paid somebody to marry you. That your enemy. They're coming up with all kinds of different ways to make sure that you don't get this money. Confirmation. And, 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 and so they're going to send in a hitman to get you sick. Probably with an STD. Probably with HIV or AIDS. Okay. Or some bubonic plague kind of shit. They're telling somebody what else they got somebody coming to do. They got somebody coming towards you uh, to, to, to do something. So this, this may not be like an immediate kind of hit. Okay. But I pick it up on the fact that it possibly could be. I think that... Uh, they're trying to get they're, they're they're telling somebody to marry your ass too because you're about to come into some type of fortune we got fortune wedding and foe they're sending in an enemy to marry you what the fuck is this young and the restless you know what i'm saying like i don't understand this shit tell me more about this um what's the current plan though i'm picking up there's like a number of them or these could be the, the previous plans but what's the current plan with this musical hitman musical uh, hitman music. it's not gonna work whatever whatever they're planning on doing the ten of swords is in the reverse yeah, Emperor, the hangman. This they, this person, it's all going to be sent back. This conflict that they're bringing. Yeah, because we got the Ten of Swords to the Emperor in the reverse. This is Aries energy or just a karmic masculine. Okay, so there's a karmic masculine planning this. This could be your father. This could be your uncle. This could be somebody, a male with kids. This could be somebody that runs a business, a company, runs a family. I just heard of family. This person could be a Pisces. Or this person is feeling stuck right now. They don't know what else to do. So they're trying to end something for you. But that conflict that they're sending you is going to be sent right back. Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's it's not even it's gonna be blocked. They're not even it's not even gonna make it. Mm -mm. Well, this person could be a Pisces. This this Emperor energy. Yeah, this Emperor energy is the one sending out this energy. This Emperor, this a Pisces, it's a Pisces. It's, a, it's either a Pisces or an Aries. Or, could be an Aries and a Pisces, an Aries and a Pisces, okay? They're both sitting around trying to figure out how they're going to complete this hit to, to steal this gift from you so that you don't receive the, the communication of this gift. <sighs> what else?
open up your window go take out to your patio yep the empress i can't make it up they're trying to this look they're coming towards you too quickly they they want they want to catch you unprepared they want to catch you uh, unprepared for this that's what they're doing under, under, under the moon the ten of wands but it's not going to work because we got ten of wands in the reverse yeah it's not gonna it's not you're not gonna accept whatever it is you know it's not gonna work it's not going to work again it's not gonna work they're gonna end up going to jail eight of swords yeah to balance things out yep they're going to jail to balance things out this is gonna be balanced so they're going to jail They're going to be doing this underneath the moon, but whatever they're going to be doing under. OK, so check this out. So there these people are very heavily burdened at this point. They're sending this they're sending this energy to you. They, they want to catch you the empress. They're sending it to you. They want to they want to make sure that you're not like they catch you off guard. They're not a coins in the verse, um, but it's not going to work. You got the ten of wands there that talks about burdens. It's in the reverse. Mm hmm. Uh, because you're not, there's, there's some type, okay, we got the moon. You're not, yeah, because you're not affected. Uh, whatever, the, whatever they're trying to send you. So this is, they're, they're trying to send you burdens, endings, 10. They're trying to send you some type of endings, whether that ending is going to be caused by, the, you know, a heavy burden or some type of, uh, you know, the, the 10 of the 10. Confirmation, the 10 of wands energy. I'm trying to tell you, pay attention to these Easter eggs. They look clues and hints. But they're going to be doing this underneath the moon. And I just heard that they're going to petition whatever, whoever they're petitioning, whoever they're summoning, calling upon. They're, they're, it's, they're not going to help them. You see whatever that entity right there, the cousin, it's like, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't want to drink that. Not from this bitch. Yeah, this, they're going to be they're, 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 they're trying to conjure up and summon up something under the moon. This hitman could be a practitioner. They could be consulting with a practitioner as well. Sorry if these messages are all over the place. Nine of coins. I'm taking my ass back to sleep. I told you. A practitioner, a magician. Mm hmm A very, a very successful practitioner, magician, warlock energy. I told you they were consulting with, and this person's telling them no. This person's refusing to offer. The person said no. So now they now they want to take now they want to get a hitman. That's what it is. They went to a practitioner. The practitioner said, no, I'm not doing it. And the practitioner is looking at him like, this motherfuckers is stupid. Look, look how you look at they're stupid. They don't get it. Like he's like, don't they get it? Like, no, I'm not doing it. They shouldn't be doing it either. Yeah, this person, this, this, uh, yeah, this person understands what's going on. This is a very gifted, okay, so th this person's in the reverse. Um, so they are a dark magic practitioner, but even dark magic practitioners have rules in the spirit. This person understands what's logical. It's like, that's not going to work. I'm not doing that. This person believes in, even though they are a dark magic practitioner, they still believe, make logical choices to do things in the upright, to do what's balanced. Because everybody, you know, the, the, the most, you know, dark magic practitioners or dark energy workers, or, or even, you know, in the kingdom of darkness, you know, not trying to get in motherfuckers no credit, but you know, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a, there is, there is a very uh, unspoken understanding in the spiritual world that one cannot exist without the other. There has to be a yin and a yang. And and, and, and and people understand that, you know, the source of energy, source of power is what I'm hearing. There has to be a balance in order for everybody else's things to be balanced, for everybody to do their jobs while they're here. It's these rogue energies that fuck it all up for everybody. So that's why this dark magic practitioner, although may not take them out, they're just not, they're refusing the offer. They're refusing it. They're not going to take the offer. They've, they've refused the offer. So that could be who they're talking to in this room. So now they're on to the next one. What's up with the next one? Musical Hitman. Well, King of Coins. So this is somebody that... Clarify the King of Coins. Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Energy. 
Well, the devil. Here we go. Three of Wands. Clarify. Clarify. Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Somebody has a hickey on their neck. Three three is out here. This is a Capricorn. A very selfish person, a very selfish, greedy person. Um, as three people, three could be three women, but this person, um, as three people, three of wands, we got three, three, three out here. Wow. Uh, this this energy, this Capricorn energy, this King of Coins, this person does have a lot of money, by the way. Um, he's asking, he expects or expected for these people to, because I told you they're switching them out. So this person, they've gone, they've gone to some three other people. They said no. Three, three coins in the reverse. They don't want to collaborate with this person. I, I just think that overall what we're getting at here, this is just some confirmation or... or uh, this is confirmation. Or something that you just need to know. It's not going to work. Nobody wants to work with these people anymore. We got the Two of Cups. These people are under heavy judgment. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It's not going to work. They're, these people are under some heavy judgment. Nobody wants. Nobody's fucking with these people anymore. So now they're at their wits end. They don't know what else to do. They, they, this 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 partnership, these two people, this, this Aries and this Pisces, they are under judgment. Nobody's fucking with them. Everybody under everybody but them understands what's going on now. They're being stopped. Spirit says that's the truth. They're, 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 they're just ace of coins. They're gonna lose everything because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what to do anymore. They 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 they, they can't juggle this shit anymore. They're they're heavily imbalanced. They're losing all their damn money and they got that five. Here we go with that five again. From all this conflict, all that shit that they they spent they spent so much money on sending conflict your way. People are seeing through the illusions now. Somebody's somebody's kid is just told on their ass. Somebody's kid told. Somebody's kid told the truth about what's going on too, I believe. Yep, six of swords, eight damn, two of swords. Mm-hmm. Somebody's getting a, and they this kid is no longer with these people either. Kid told. Here in foster care. Mm-mm. Anything else? These people are playing musical hit, man. Something's being laid to rest with the Four of Swords out here. What's being laid to rest? Hopefully these people, and I mean that in whatever way the Most High God sees fit. Okay? Well, <laughs> I cannot make it up. That, that's a good, that, this is how this is going to end for these people. They may be literally being laid to rest. Smoking. Okay. Somebody's gonna try to set a fire, or somebody's getting high as fuck right now. What are they doing? They're getting high. Can't even go to sleep. These motherfuckers can't go to sleep. They high as shit. <laughs> they're sitting in a dark ass room. This room that they in, they sitting in that bitch getting fucked up. Okay, doing a lot of fucking. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands here. They're divinating. They're doing some dark ass magic. Okay, they're getting high doing magic. I'm trying to tell you, but God is a watching. So are them big boys. About to get that ass. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yep, and that's gonna be the end. Of, we got death out here. We got endings upon endings. The, when they, the, the conflict that they keep sending is the ending for every time they send it out. It comes right back to that ass. So the world where the world talks about closing out cycles, but it also talks about a complete uh, going around in a circle, 360 degrees. Whatever they send out comes right back around. And they about to be laid to rest. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you that, listen, if you don't see what's going on here, 
the four swords to death to the world. That's how God's going to end this up. I'm trying to tell you, we got the higher font, higher font right here, sticking this, sticking, uh, hiding, you know, not hiding, but just the omnipresent energy over the world. Um, yeah, God said, no, I'm an, I've had enough of these people. They're fucking idiots. So happy trails, karmics. The hitman ain't even fucking with him no more. Hey, no, there's not a hitman in the area that is going to take this job. And trust and believe, they, the one the hitman leaves, they, I don't know if it's like a hitman social network or something. I don't even know what that would even be called. But there's 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 a way that everybody knows that this couple shouldn't. They, they I think I feel like what's what's going on here is that I just got God bumps. Yeah, I feel like what's going on here is that everybody knows. Yeah, stripping illusions. Yeah, people are seeing through the illusions. That I can't make it up. Death again. These people are going to die. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they're gonna die, but they're gonna die. And I'm telling you now that I'm not picking up. I'm really not picking up whatever they sent out for you. Whatever they sent your way is going to happen to them. This is where they wanted you to be. It's going to happen to them. So take the energy as it resonates. This is your confirmation. Uh, go to God. But I'm telling you right now, though, these people are erratic. These people want to bring you conflict. I'm, I'm picking up heavily on the fact that they're going to find, they're going to find somebody to come towards you. Yeah, they are. They're gonna find somebody to come towards you. There's gonna be some crackhead, some crackhead junkie that's gonna that's gonna take an eight ball to come fuck with you. So be careful. You know, protect your energy. Uh, I just really kind of heard that that you know, cause the motherfucker that ain't got shit to lose ain't got nothing to lose. You feel me? So uh, and a motherfucker that ain't got nothing to lose, that's a dope thing. Uh, will then be so afraid to lose that eight ball or to or lose the opportunity to get high that they don't give a fuck about nobody. So watch your ass, Mr. Postman. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Take the energy as it resonates, though. Go out, to, go outside on your patio, 3200 when I look down. If you need some fresh air, open up a window, okay? Or go out on your patio or wait till tomorrow, okay? Do what you got to do, though. I'm not troubling you to be a prisoner, but just to use your use your discernment, you know, whether or not you should go be going somewhere. Pay attention to what's going on around you. A lot of people do a lot of busy things around you when they really ain't doing nothing. That could, that could actually be help. That you can, you know, discern for yourself. But a lot of times it's really just people uh, trying to scope out, be nosy, figure out what you got going on so they can try to predict your next move to get you to go in a different direction so that they can pop your ass when you come from around that corner. You feel me? But that's the end of this message. I hope this message helps somebody. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 7-9, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was loving light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you. Deuces. Savage.